hi guys welcome to sp.net tutorials for beginners uh, part 12 in this video tutorial we will show you pen control in sp.net okay let's start so, and now click in your project then right click and then add then add a new item and then uh, form and then uh, select a uh, form name now you can click add now uh, design actually panel control is used as a container for other controls mm. so a panel control is very handy when you want to group controls and then show or hide all the controls in a group panel control is also very useful mm. so in this video we will discuss about using the panel control to group controls and that uh, then toggle their visibility using the panel controls visible property now um, in your uh, visual studio select table then select insert table and then high pros and three columns or four columns four columns i'll take the four columns you can now click it okay so here um from toolbox i click a panel drag and drop and another panel uh, click from your tools box and uh, now drag and drop so i have uh, taken two panels panel one and panel two from first panel uh, again uh, select table then select insert table and then select uh, four cross uh, three columns okay in first panel i have taken a uh, level controls and text box again so in this level i uh, click properties and then right here and id person so here right Username. Sorry, uh, here is a name. And the password again. Properties.
in panel 2 as similar uh, to a uh, arm take a table and insert a table and three columns uh, here in this uh, panel sorry similar to here i have taken a two label uh, two text box uh, three, three label and three text box oh. now i am taking another control in uh, radio button list now in a std uh, and a this td uh, select them uh, modify then select a uh, marshals so uh, two table td are on marshals now i am taking uh, the pen uh, toolbox here no show toolbox so don't worry uh, click a uh, view uh, then uh, select them uh, sorry then select a toolbox uh, toolbox will be appeared uh, then uh, select a radio button list and so so here a uh, radio button list so a uh, radio button list now uh, this um, uh, TT then select um, this uh, radio button will be uh, show in the left side so now I am showing the uh, middle center now and select source and this TT uh, right L I C A center now you can uh, click design okay uh, with the uh, middle center now click this arrow then click edit items uh, so click um, to uh, list item it person so pill one now again admin person below to now click add and this radio button uh, show in the uh, sorry select the radio button then uh, uh, select properties uh, here will be repeat direction is vertical but i am showing a uh, uh, horizontal line okay and now uh, right click the up form and then select um, view code uh, sorry um, then uh, this uh, a radio button list and then click uh, auto post back here is a false now right to auto post back and uh, then double click the radio button list one here a uh, radio button list one select in the sense event will be automatically a uh, c-sharp code uh, even created now uh, right click radio button list on select index equals equals zero
panel on dot visible equal to true and panel two dot visible equal to false. Now control C and control pedal paste and select equal to one then just write opposite false two. now right now run the application here it person admin passwords now i am select the it person so here a panel to uh, uh, visible e false that means uh, in this control uh, panel container all controls are visible false now again if i select the admin panel so uh, here show the admin person admin person uh, panel to are, are true and uh, it person uh, panel uh, false now again the add it person so it person visible true and uh, select the admin person the admin person equal to um, true okay guys hope you are enjoy my um, video